Earlier you learned a little bit about resources. Those are the things you look at and review within Moodle. The next item is activities. And activities are things that you do something with online. And typically they involve some sort of activity that the, the teacher has assigned and then is graded. Some things are graded automatically, like some of the quizzes, and others require teacher intervention, like some of the forums. Some are not graded at all, but are still things that you're expected to do. To do. So one instructor might want you to ask any questions on a discussion forum, whereas another might give you points for weekly participation. So within this workshop, if you go down to topic section 3, it says part 3, doing the work, and there's some explanation about the difference between resources and activities that hopefully you've already read about. And down here we have three main categories of resources, I mean rather of activities. And these are the bread and butter of a lot of courses, the main kinds of assignments you'll do. And within Moodle they're called forums, and those are basically discussion boards, or we can call them discussion forums. And that's a place where you can have an online conversation. Those are assignments, that typically involves turning in some kind of work to your instructor. And they are quizzes. Um, there are no tests per se in Moodle, they're just called quizzes, but they could be considered, a uh, teacher could treat them as a final or a midterm or just a quiz, but they're all called quizzes within Moodle. And those include things like multiple choice and fill in the blank and matching questions. So forums, assignments, quizzes, these make up the bulk of activities within Moodle, and they involve some action on your part that is evaluated in some way, either by Moodle itself or by your instructor. So have a look at these examples, and each one has an associated explanation and video.